Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Biscuit. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you all are having a great day wherever you are. So today's video is going to be none other than a, another collaboration video. So my good sis, uh, Nails by Lena C. She reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be a part of a new collab. And of course I was like, sis, you know I'm down for it all. So she put me in this collab and I was actually a little nervous about it um, because everybody has been doing um, these Barbie nails and I'm like, oh, we, I am, whew, I don't know what I'm gonna do, right? So of course the wheels started spinning. What could I do for these Barbie nails? Because there are so many videos out, you know, and my thing is, um, or how I feel. This is only how I feel. You all let me know what you think as well. Um, if you don't hop on a trend like that first week that something is trending, I feel like you already left behind. Like you could just forget about it. <laughs> That's just how I feel. But uh, needless to say, thank you, Lena, for inviting me to this beautiful collab. And uh, make sure you all go check out the other ladies as well. And let's get this thing started. All right, so I already went ahead and put on my McCart Peel It Off base coat. I cured that for 60 seconds. And now we are just sizing out our nail tips. And I clearly should have, should have done this before I put on the base coat, but it's all right. Needless to say, we're gonna get them on there, okay? Okay, so I have my nail tips, but I wanted to try something different, right? Because we're going for this Barbie themed, nail set i'm thinking about doing some lipstick nails so i'm going to attempt to cut these at an angle okay and i'm gonna do that before i put them on because i'm hoping that will help with the shaping right and i have never done lipstick nails before slight angle and then we're gonna shape these have you all done lipstick nails before let me know what you think about them this is something new of course you know Barbie lip gloss lipstick baby she is high fashion okay I think that one I should have cut a little bit but it's all right so now that I have that done I'm actually I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these press-ons, not press-ons, um, nail tips with this Mia Secret Finishing Gel, which is my top coat. And then I'm gonna take my UV Melody Susie lamp. As always, I use this thing all of the time. Um, and I normally start with my pinky and then work my, work my way. And again, these are gonna be, again, these are going to be long. Okay. All right, so here are the nail tips on. I'm gonna go ahead and do a full 60 second cure. Okay, so my thoughts for these nails, right? I kinda wanted to do something underneath. So, you know, Barbie's out in Malibu with the pools, the palm trees, all that good stuff, right? So I'm like, let me try this water droplet thing underneath here. So that way underneath my nails will be the water side. So I'm gonna start with this color from Valentino. This one is a jelly blue, which is number 122. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint underneath here to give that um, water, type of look so this is my first time doing this so let's see if this turned out right so you know what i'm gonna do one first to kind of decide um but if i like that because maybe i don't know so let's go ahead with our blue and this is like the perfect blue and i honestly don't think that i have used this blue in any of my um nail sets before but I got this from my local nail supply store when I went to meet one of my subscribers. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check that out. It's from a while ago, but 
you know, this might get a little messy. You probably should do you probably should do this step before you actually um put your nail tips on. That might help as well because now you have to put your hand in the lamp like this, right? So take it from me, you know, this is trial and error. <laughs> I didn't think about this before I put the tips on, but we're rocking and rolling with it. Okay, so I actually decided to just do them all because, baby, I'm invested. So this was the initial plan to do these like this. So I might as well just do them all. So I'm gonna do this thumb and then um, I will be back. Okay, so I have the blue underneath here and I believe that I've seen it where you have to take some white gel polish and some top coat and mix that together to get that milky, milky white. So let's try it out. So this white I'm using is of course from Royalty Nail Supplies. It's called White Out. I do have a coupon code down in the description box for you all to use if you're interested. All right, so, oh, and then they also say you need regular top coat as well because you're gonna uh, need to put the dots on there, which is gonna cause it to spread. So y'all, this is all new to me, but we trying it, so let's go. And then you're supposed to take a dotting tool. And then put some dots in here and it's supposed to spread. I think that might be too um, too much of a white, so it's not milky white enough. What y'all think? Not milky white enough? I don't think so. So let's try it again. And let's take the alcohol right. Take number one. All right, take two. I wiped this off. Now let's see what this is looking like. Okay, so this looks okay. For now, you know, I want it to just be on the underside of the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and just repeat this and hopefully it will, um, that it will come together, okay? Which I know it will. So we're gonna roll with this. I'm probably gonna speed this part up. Um, so that way you all will not be this part forever, even though I will be, because y'all know I gotta make sure it's right. So yeah, let's go.
All right, so here are what underneath the nails look like. And for my first time, this actually looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a full uh, 60 second cure underneath my lamp and I'll have to do the thumb separately. Okay, so these are fully cured and now I'm gonna go ahead and obviously seal these in with the top coat. So here are the water nails. They're okay. They're cute. Something different. Um, definitely will take practice to perfect. But needless to say, that part is done. So now we can move on to laying this acrylic. Your girl pulled out a ton of acrylics. Um, I got Royalty Nail Supplies Cosmopol Cosmopolitan. Uh, Royalty Nail Supplies Legally Bold. I have uh, Royalty Nail Supplies Malibu Barbie. Also have Royalty Nail Supplies Barbie Dreams. I'm gonna use Flossy from Royalty Nail Supplies. I also pulled out this uh, Eclipse, which is self-care. And I pulled out this Kiara Sky Partners in Wine. And then, of course, y'all know, what? I'm gonna be using Nails by Crystal, which is my brand. And I'm gonna be using Pop Rocks. So, I kinda think I wanna do a bunch of ombres because Barbie is like pink, pinkalicious. So, I think that's what I wanna do in no particular order. Um, and then we're gonna do our junk nails. So, I brought out all these pinks just to try them. And I think I might do different shades of pink on each nail but i do want to find out which one is lighter than the other so that way at least i know because i would like to go from lightest to darkest when you're doing your ombres and then i actually think i might do one solid glitter nail which might be the uh, ring finger
I don't know where I'm gonna put these acrylics at, but I think I'm just gonna do an ombre set. But I'm kinda like, do I wanna do a bling? I think I'm gonna do it all glitter. So let's get right into it. So let me, I'm gonna move this over a little bit to bring the colors up just a little bit closer for you all. So these are the pinks that we're gonna be rocking with. And of course my glitter, gorgeous. You can check the description box down below if you are interested in any of my glitter acrylics. So here we go.
highlight you all. So here is the application. I have a little bulkiness right here and a little bit up here. But of course, that's nothing that a little file can't fix. That something's going on with that Kiara Sky, this first powder. So I'm gonna keep this out because I'm gonna play around with that again because it definitely marbled. Um, and I did stir it up if you all saw um, by the video. So, but I wanna play around with that one a little bit more. But overall, here is the um, before and I'm gonna save time and not even put the clips in for filing and here we are after. All right, so here they are filed and buffed. the charms that we're going to be doing for Barbie junk nails. I'm just pretty much going to be going with the flow. And yes, I'm going to be putting some of these cute Barbie shoes. Now for this collab, I actually bought a 50 pack of shoes because I was like, this is something different. But then I saw somebody use shoes and I was like, oh man, like, I really wasn't looking for Barbie inspo because I just wanted to do my own thing. But then when I saw the shoes, I was like, you know what? If you don't get on top of these trends when they first happen, you could forget about it, you know? But, you know, we're all doing the same thing. We're all trying to do nails and, you know, this nails is something that we love. So, you know, I am rocking with it. So I still might use these for next time as well. Like. You know, I wasn't gonna keep these and put a shoe on some nails or something. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and get my little thing here. And I'm gonna probably use my Koopa top coat. And let me get this bigger palette out so I can kind of spread my, oops. I can kind of spread my stuff out to figure out what I want to use. I got shoes. I got these uh, little bars here, which are actually tongue piercing. So I saw this on the Instagram, not on Barbie nails, but just in GP. I saw that on some nails. So I have some tongue piercings. Of course, I have my hearts. I have a heart with like a pearl ring on it. I have a pink key, some more hearts, pink stuff big crystals, of course the shoes, hearts, flowers, you know, so more hearts over there. So this is all of the Barbie nails that we're, I'm sorry, the Barbie junk with quotation marks that we're gonna use for the nails. So we're just randomly gonna get to this in, in no particular order. And yeah, so I'm probably gonna speed this up, turn on some music so you all can enjoy. And yeah, let's go. 
Okay, so I have the top coat applied. So now to just achieve these junk nails, I'm just pretty much taking random charms and placing them on my nails. And this Una gel, uh, Jella rhinestone gel is very, very um, thin. So the consistency is very thin. It's not thick like the McCart one is, where your stones won't be sliding all over the place. But um, it definitely holds. I would just say that if you're gonna do any type of you know, junk nails with this particular uh, rhinestone gel, just do it in like little sections. Don't put it all over the entire nail where you're still trying to figure out where you want uh, charms or crystals to go. So just do it in like little sections, which is what I ended up doing um, on the next few nails. Like, okay, I'm gonna just put a little blob here, put the charm on and then go put another blob there, put a charm on, things like that. So um, I do actually prefer, of course, the McCart rhinestone gel because it's of a thicker viscosity and it holds uh, very well. I mean, the charms held very well. I was like click clacking my nails and all this other stuff, but it's just the consistency. So um, just FYI on that. But yeah, so pretty much to achieve these junk nails, I am just going through some stuff, figuring out what would look good next to each other and kind of going with the flow. It's no wrong way to do this. Trust me, just put that on the nails. You feel me? <laughs> so, of course, I was super excited to use these heels. I couldn't decide which pair I wanted to use, but these happened to be my favorite. And I was like, oh, yeah, sis, let's pop these babies on the nail, too. Then I went ahead and got my tongue piercing and I put that between the shoe. Like, and actually, I thought that the, the nails would be heavy with all the junk on there, but surprisingly, they were not. Like, I thought they were going to be, like, heavy, heavy to the point where you can't lift your fingers. But um, it did have a little weight to it. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it didn't. But it wasn't, like, weight where you can't lift your fingers or you're straining to lift your fingers. I actually thought this was really, really cute. And I'm going to be honest. I didn't know how the junk nails were going to turn out because I've never done junk nails either. So look at me accomplishing things I've never done. Okay. One lipstick nails okay two junk nails okay and three the water uh the water trend i know i'm late on that so uh that's because i'm i, I work y'all i work you know bills gotta be paid around here so i work and so i don't really have time to kind of like participate in a lot of the trends that i see even though i want to I just don't have the time because, you know, by the time you get home, you want to relax, um, things like that. So I typically try to do nails on the weekends for the most part. But trust me, when I be seeing like my sisters doing nails and putting out um, haul videos, I be going shopping right away or window shopping, shall I say, because your girl has been good lately. I have not purchased any um any nail related items except for like some small necessities so um but i do have a few carts that i do need to do okay so anyways let's get back to these nails um i'm just gonna let you all watch because i've been rambling enough but baby these are coming out so stinking cute okay and i was very 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 shocked so i'm gonna let you all watch and then your girl will be back with the finished look
all right you all so here is the final look hopefully you all have enjoyed i actually really enjoyed creating these nails and stepping out of my comfort zone and doing something totally different and i really really surprisingly <laughs> I love these nails. They're so cute. They're busy, but they're so cute. And I feel like I've captured um, the elements of Barbie in these nails. So hopefully you all have enjoyed as well. If you have, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you go subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so that way you never miss a video. And make sure that you go over and check out all of the wonderful ladies in the description box who have participated in this collab. And... As always, please be safe, love on your people, check on your people, and your girl will catch you in the next video. Bye, y'all.